hey guys thanks for watching and for subscribing if you have my video submission for the cyberdeck design contest at vertcon has been uh way more popular than i expected and i'm glad you guys are enjoying it um i ended up winning the competition <laughs> I'm so honored and shocked, and it was a lot of fun. The community over at the Cyberdeck Cafe that ran the the convention um, is a bunch of really cool people, and you should check them out on Discord if you can. I'll do another Cyberdeck kind of project soon. I have uh, some ideas I'm playing around with, but today I took a little break to head to the flying field here and I have a little kooky engineering experiment to try out. This is the GASB-1 flying wing. Uh, it's a 3D printable airplane I found on Thingiverse. Um, I'm excited to try it out, but I have made some funny little decisions with putting it together. <laughs> Uh, one of the biggest problems with a 3D printed airplane is, you know, you have such a nice design you put so much work into, and then they just end up being really fragile. Um, and, you know, you could reprint parts, but sometimes it's hard to get them to match up and to put everything back together again. And, hey, plastic isn't uh, free either, right? So this, this design on its own tries to solve some of those problems by printing everything in uh, sections and then you just tape them together. So if you completely shatter one part of the wing, you just, un, you just rip off the tape, pull out that section and put a new piece in, you're ready to go. Um, it usually uses some carbon fiber rods to reinforce it, but I found out that small and medium-sized barbecue skewers fit exactly right too. <laughs> so my my funny thing I'm trying out is uh, I've been looking for a plane that's uh, indestructible so I can practice my skills kind of like I do with uh, quadcopters because you can just smash those into the ground so many times and uh, they don't take any damage. You just dust them off and try again. <laughs> So, in an effort to reach that with an airplane, I tried printing this entirely out of TPU. <laughs> so, it is one big squishy airplane. Uh, you'll notice the control surfaces are still out of rigid PLA, and the, the canopy and the, the back of the main fuselage that holds the motor are also PLA, but uh, everything else is flexible TPU. In some little tests, it Seems like it'll do okay. Um, so let me get my little catapult set up and we'll see what happens. Okay, I got her ready on the uh, catapult. Got my controller here. Did our control tests. And let's see what happens. Ah! All right, well, <laughs> well, the good news is, at first glance, it looks like it's in one piece. Uh, I think I need to stick one of my batteries back down again. Keep it around. But from that, TPU did its job. <laughs> Let's see if we can give it a better test. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. Oh, 
was up with that uncommanded roll, but uh, so far we're off to an okay start. I'll try and get a good, good lap around the field yet. All right, it's getting better every time. Let's keep going. for us oh god all right that's the crash i'm talking about <laughs> and that was a good flight too all right so this is feasible <laughs> i think um yeah my cg might be a little bit of an issue and Although TPU is as only as heavy as PLA, and that works fine for 3D printed airplanes, um, you do maybe have to give it a little more structure just to keep that rigidity with the TPU. Ah, all right, cool. We broke something. <laughs> or did we really? Doesn't seem like any of the barbecues, I don't think any of the barbecue skewers catastrophically broke. This one has slid a little bit and is tape ripped, but that's uh, exactly what it's supposed to do. So I think maybe with some uh, new tape, this would be ready to go back up in the air, maybe not even without a barbecue skewer. So I think this is a good proof of concept. I want to try making a plane design specifically for this purpose and maybe experiment with a hybrid of PLA or um, PETG for the heat, sunlight heat resistance and uh, TPU. And I think it could lead to some cool things like maybe you could have the control surfaces be part of like one part solid with the wing and it's just designed to flex to be the control surface. Um, and you could accomplish that through different infill patterns or something maybe. Um, well, thanks for uh, trying this out with me. And hope maybe it gave you some crazy ideas to try out with this stuff. All right, well, have fun uh, doing your own flying and building, and hopefully I'll see you soon.